Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, and I will tell you about the world of film photography. A lost world in grainy and green and yellowish tones and unsaturated. Grab your... <laughs> but go ahead and grab your uh, scullies or your round hats and your corduroy flannels. Bring it on. See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. Go ahead and grab your scullies, your round hats, and also your corduroy button-ups, because we're about to enter film photography. Oh, yeah. Ah, I have the power. Don't you love the smell of chemicals and developer in the morning? Actually, I, 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 don't, I don't want you to do that. If you inhale too much, it's going to be crazy for you. I'm just letting you know what the fuck it is going to happen. You have the power that I wield right now with this on. Are you ready to take pictures of gas stations and old box Chevys? Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> nah, I was some real shit, bro. All right, so welcome back. My name is Vonnie Rasta. So um, what I'm going to be doing today is to tell you how to get into getting started into film photography. I got dressed for the occasion, as you can see, because this is a common film photographer type of look. Usually have like some type of old retro shirt on or something like that. You have Chucks tied behind your leg. <laughs> You have ch you have ch chucks on with your strings tied behind your ankles. Oh yeah, you're entering the film photography. Yeah, he's a film photographer for sure. He or she. I'm gonna be telling you guys about film photography. So entering the film photography is a bunch of different things you can do. Going into film photography, so you have to know which format you have to, you want to choose. There are many different formats that you want to choose. Some's where they don't make those anymore, and some people don't de don't develop those types of roles anymore. But we'll start off from the from small to the bigger format. This one is Fuji Superior. It's a 35 millimeter. This is particularly 36 shots. Sometimes you get Kodak ones. Kodak ones sometimes will be 24 shots, but portrait ones are usually about 36 shots as well. Your media format, which is your 120s, which is a Kodak portrait 120 right here. So this is uh, 120, uh, 120 film. It's usually like a high resolution film. Um, this we will get depending on what kind of camera you have. Uh, with it, if it's like a Maya RB67, like 67s, you're going to get it like 10 shots a piece. If you got like a 645 cameras, you will probably get around like 15, 14 shots. Then you have other things like if you want to start doing like uh, ones in film versions, there are Super 8 cameras that you can get into, which I'm going to get into like much later on into this channel. We'll go ahead and bring those up. So, say you want to go into a 35 millimeter point and shoot, like the one I have here. This is the Yashica T3. It's a point and shoot camera, 35 millimeter. Excuse me, motherfucker. It's a point and shoot, as you can see, flash on top of it, all that, the whole nines. Has different types of autofocuses, that type of thing. So that's 35 millimeter. So 35 millimeter, 35 millimeter, like I said previously in the video, uh, is usually comes in 24 to 36 shots. So in those 24 to 36 shots, you can just get ahead and go ahead and start snapping. 35 millimeter is probably the most common that you'll see. Like you'll see those in thrift stores. Um, you'll catch those on Ebay's, different camera stores and stuff like that. You might even go to your mama house. Go to your mama house, go to your auntie's house, your uncle house, your, uh, your grandpa and them. They most likely have those types of cameras. So if you just have those type of cameras laying over, grab it and go get you some 35 millimeter. Uh, you can get film from anywhere you want to get to. Uh, usually, usually I would go to the camera store located in my city. Um, but I've been recently ordering a lot of more film from B&H Photo. B&H Photo is probably the most common place that I usually go for any of my camera needs. This video is not sponsored by B&H Photo. I'm just letting you know that now. They did not pay me at all to say that. Uh, that's just commonly where I go. So um bnh photo like lomography you go over some from different different amounts of film, uh, film stores you can try to get some off ebay because i know a lot of people go there for like the films that have been discontinued uh but if you go there you got to kind of be kind of careful because some people are very much shysty and they will get you over <laughs> on some bullshit because a lot of times I, sometimes i do go there like i recently went there for some kodak color plus luckily it was cool we was good but it's only because bnh photo was out of it so that's the only reason why I went there. But it's different amounts of film stores. Like I went out when I was when we was in LA, by the way, video coming soon in LA. 
uh, when we was in LA, I went to a film store, a local film store out there, and um, I got some film from out there. There's plenty of places where you can get film from. But most of the time, I would say just go to B&H Photo because it's easier just to order it or get it in. Or if you have a local film store that sells film, then you all good. You good in the hood. So you chose 35 millimeter film. So now if you chose 35 millimeter film, uh, just got to get to shoot. Let's think about something else. Like say if you don't want to go to a 35 millimeter point and shoot, you just wanted something a little bit cheaper so you don't have to spend any money. Because like buying things like the Shiga T3, uh, it can get a little expensive because that camera cost me about 300 bucks to get it off eBay. I uh, wish I could have found it in a thrift store, but uh, you also can go to uh, different thrift stores. There's a bunch of Minolta's that are always sitting out. Like I think Minolta's probably one of the most common like point and shoot cameras back then because I find those things literally everywhere. Like I have a, uh, I actually have a video on the Minolta AF Tele. If you want to go watch that, you can go ahead and click, click the link and check it out right there, so you can see what it looked like there. Disposable cameras, you can, like I said before in the video, you can get those anywhere. You can literally get those anywhere. You can go to Walmart right now. You get it cracking immediately now cost you about five dollars go do it which are really 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 good cameras so w with those cameras uh you'll get about i think it's 36 shots on that one too or it might be 24 but like i said it's easily accessible it's it's so easy to get into film photography with those because that's your yeah you can use that as a starting point i actually have a video that you can go ahead and watch right now it's about our disposable camera battle i actually did with my homie lex so go there check out some of those shots and see how you like it all right so now we're going into uh, a little bit higher of a price range these you can you can probably get for like 100 bucks uh, depending on where you get it from or if you want to order them off of ebay you could probably get them a little bit cheaper polaroid cameras Yes, 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 yes. Everybody loves a Polaroid camera. So this I got from Target. It was about a hundred bucks to get it from Target. Hundred and twenty bucks, if I want to be exact. Uh, so you can go to Target. You can buy these. This is just a Polaroid now. So I used to have an old Polaroid that I used to use, but I, I actually I actually stopped using that one. I just went. Uh, I was actually using an Instax, an Instax camera, and uh, I just didn't really. I didn't too much like that one all the way. But this Polaroid now one is the joint. This is the one I uh, use for all my shoots. You can purchase the film for the Polaroid right now at Target. So when you go to Target, they usually have like a little section for it. Uh, it's beware, it's been very, 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 very popular lately. So they've been selling out a lot, uh, particularly in Kansas City. That's where I'm based at. Um, but I go to Target, uh, I go to Target right up there at Ward Parkway. You can get a big pack of uh, Polaroid film for about 80 bucks. So there's different types of those films. You have the color film, the regular color film. You get about eight shots each cartridge. And then there's the eye type film. The eye type film, same thing, eight dollars each cartridge. But they don't usually sell those in two packs. They don't usually sell those in the big pack like they usually do with the color film. So that's Polaroid film. If you want to check those out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are entering into the big dog era. God damn, dog. All right, this is the wait. All right, check it out. This is a Mamaya RB67. You can see as my hands shake and quake. Like the whole ass motherfucker I am. <laughs> yeah, so this is medium format. And they don't all, god damn. I'll keep it right here. And they don't all come in this size. There are different types of cameras. I just went with the Mamaya RB67 because I thought it was just like, the, I've seen the best pictures out of it. Really, you can go with any type of camera. I'm looking for something a little bit more travel size. So I'm thinking about um, looking at a Fuji. So it's a Fuji GA645 that I'm looking at that it was probably going to come in future videos. Uh, but you also can do things like the uh, Pentax 67, but be aware that is also a tank as well. So like it's different types of medium format cameras. Like it's, uh, excuse me, it's different types of medium format cameras. So you have things like the, uh, like an electronic version, one of them, you have a mechanical camera, just like how this one is, this is an all mechanical camera. So it's different types of medium format cameras you can choose from. Medium format, that's when you start to get into the real high resolution uh, film with these these are just the big dogs you'll see these on professional photo shoots you'll see these at uh magazine cover photo shoots there's a bunch of different things but i usually use this for any studio work that i have or i'm doing anything for like fashion shoes or publishing that type of thing so yeah that is medium format god damn boy you're gonna need to go on a goddamn diet <laughs> We're choosing different types of labs. So we're choosing a lab. You want to go with a lab that you can trust. So the lab I usually choose, I use Darkroom. The Darkroom is a really great site. So they charge you about fifteen dollars per roll for every roll that you send into, uh, depending on how depending on how how high 
of a scan high resolution scan that you want i usually just go for a medium that's a 15 dollars one so they it's like 15 dollars per row uh you can go for a smaller scan which is about 12 dollars per row or you can go for the bigger ones which are usually i want to say around like 18 19 dollars so it's been in uh, the dark room's been in business for at least about 40 years since like 1976 or something crazy like that they do very 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 good work and they usually try to tend to get your work out to you within about three to five days once again this video is not sponsored by the dark room at all it's just me telling you about their services because i always use these services i recently just put an order out to them right now they're kind of backed up at the moment uh, because of like how the holidays are affecting people because people were just probably just out shooting film like monstrously and they probably just got behind from that but uh yeah so you can choose that it's another one like indie film lab it's located in alabama i've used them before uh it's a bunch of different labs so like i said man like that's one of the things that you probably you, you probably want to focus on the most because you really want to know who's taking care of your films because your film is your baby you know what i'm saying this is your art this is what you do or you can go the route if you don't trust anybody else with it <laughs> you go the route of learning to develop in your own film so with developing your own film you want to do things like uh you want to buy a scanner you want to get the developing equipment and learn how to use the chemicals and all that stuff like that i'm not that experienced in the using chemicals and to using a uh, developer and all that stuff like that not just yet i'm actually right now i'm still learning and i'm not as confident as myself into actually doing it myself so that's why i send it to the good people at the dark room once again this video is not sponsored by the dark room like i said man you want to choose what is best for you if you want to start in disposables to start in disposables bro like you don't have to rush to do a medium format you don't have to rush to do that uh if you don't want to start in point and shoot cameras don't don't worry about it don't worry about starting point and shoot cameras do what you want to do do what's best for you take what you uh, take what you what you can from this video take everything that you want to take from this video i hope you learned something today as far as like learning anything from me do your art do what's best for you and start how you want to start and go is go whatever pace you want to go in to get into film photography i'm just glad that you got into it and i'm glad that you become a part of this community so uh yeah man so i appreciate y'all for coming through here man like once again thank you for watching the video bro please drop me a like on this video y'all have been blowing up the videos bro don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh share this video for me man like i said i appreciate you i love you guys y'all guys have been great um you have been commenting y'all have been doing so much bro like y'all literally like made me feel better about doing this too you know like i feel like i'm creating for other people and i feel like there are people who are there for me and more people who support me and doing what i'm doing bro so once again i love you guys yo appreciate y'all for coming through thank you thank you for watching again shout out to all my subscribers that be following me and messaging me and everything like that asking me other questions too i see y'all boy i commented on that i followed a bunch of y'all back too hey bro i appreciate y'all see you later shoot a shoot see when you do clownery the clown comes back to bite